Okay friends, now let us talk about the zonal ultra centrifugation. So this is a process of centrifugation and as you know the centrifugation techniques we can separate uh, macromolecules according to their size and shape and molecular masses. In density gradient centrifugation we separate molecules according to their uh, masses because but the name uh, from the density gradient centrifugation come from the solvent uh, uh, which is taken uh, which provides the different levels of density through which the sample is being sedimented but in this case what we can we'll talk about this is a centrifugation procedure again this gradient so we have a sucrose as uh, that medium so we need a very very fine medium which is providing the matrix which is providing the platform for centrifugation of different macromolecules so in this case we take sucrose and why we take sucrose because sucrose uh, can lead to the formation or fractionation of different density so in in this case if we took the uh, to take this uh, test tube as an example we have sucrose in it and in this test tube example sucrose in the below or bottom point the gradient of sucrose is higher and the density of sucrose is getting lower when you get towards upper upper regions and this density is depending on the gravitational force as the gravity is higher and in, in the bottom because the gravitational force is go going to be the downward portion so the gradient is getting higher in the bottom portion and lower in the top portion so this sucrose medium is providing this uh, Mm, uh, these macromolecules have different gradients so the macromolecules for the macromolecules which has to be separated which is in our sample uh, will have different layers of gradients so the layers of gradient for lower to higher so the the, the sample the macromolecule uh, which which mm, may wants to be place to be placed in a particular gradient rather than other so in this case if you have a sample mixture of this red and blue macromolecule in this representation then those blue uh, will love or prefer to be in the lower gradient and the red is preferred to be in the higher gradient so the red will come to the bottom of the tube and the uh, and the blue will stay to the up of the tube upper layer of the tube so that's how this uh, zonal centrifugation actually works so what what we take the sample is layered onto a sucrose gradient in this case during the centrifugation what you can say in the in this picture this is the centrifugation the picture after the centrifugation uh, each particles sediments at a rate that depends largely on their molecular mass so memorize these things never forget these things according to this zonal centrifugation on this centrifugational force whatever sedimentation coefficient whatever density is provided is by the sample mm, by no, not by the sample sorry by the matrix or by uh, the the solution in which the sample has been added so the density is provided by this matrix but uh, actual uh, property of the macromolecule which helps them to be sedimented is their molecular mass so so in this uh, zonal ultra centrifugation we are separating macromolecules according to their molecular mass not by their density okay now after the end of this run what we can see here after the centrifugation we have separated those macromolecules according to their molecular mass in different layers of sucrose gradient then we can say we have a fractionation then we have to fractionate it how then we will we will uh, pinch a hole in this test tube so whatever it can be a test tube it can be a falcon and everything whatever you can take we can punch a hole and through this hole we will take uh, the our necessary part so if you pinch a hole first this this part of the sucrose will come out so first test tubes are full of this sucrose and sucrose gradient uh, gradients then after some time we will take uh, this uh, fast sedimenting component uh, then then after this uh, illusion of this fast sedimenting component through this hole uh, several uh, um, containers will fill with this this part of the sucrose and finally we will elude this low sedimenting component so whatever we are talking about the sedimentation is based on the mass of the molecule and the sedimentation gradient is provided by the mixture uh, of uh, the matrix or uh, in this case which is a suc sucrose okay